Hello there, welcome to another tutorial. This is Ed Tadeo. Today I'm going to teach you how I animate uh, the character uh, on the grass uh, using transparency mask. Okay, so I made a, uh, an animation which is a, 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 a guy uh, running. We animated this character for just uh, like uh, 15 frames so if we zoom in the character is just uh, static okay okay uh, it's it's only uh, in one place but we are we are needing the character to run across so run across from left to uh, from right right to left right uh, just running across right so what we are going to use uh, right now I'm going I'm using Krita so I made this in Krita and uh, animated this and then we we are going to uh, import this uh, animation in hit film X, uh, hit hit film Express or hit hit film pro or maybe you can use your other editing program so let's start so let's stop the animation if we look at it uh, the animation is um, half uh, drawn all right so what we're gonna do is to create a mask a transparency mask so we will right click all right right click uh, this uh, layer the layer animation and then we will add all right add transparency mask right when we add that it will go to this layer which is the tr transparency mask and we will just use a brush so I use a brush this brush or any hard brush you have and then we will create transparent um, kind of like uh, grasses right so we will make grass like this so it will be transparent but we're doing this because uh, we are trying to uh, save the drawing all right so when we try to animate as you can see it will animate like this see the animation seems a uh, little off because the 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 grass transparent that we drew is um, not animated so we're gonna undo that and then add transparency mask right when we add that we will go to the first frame here first frame right uh, the feature of the transparency mask, let's spin this the, the feature of the transparency mask uh, is uh, you can create another keyframe using this right the, or this one Let's create keyframe there it created a keyframe now let's create another one and another one all right these are these keyframes are um, are unique on on each frames right when you draw this when you draw on the keyframe it will create a unique drawing so when you look at it it's gone it's it's a different frame so let's go back and redraw the 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 grass transparent grass So 
So what we're gonna do is select every keyframes selected, okay, and then hold down control on your keyboard, and then click and drag to copy each frames on every uh, blank keyframes, right? So when we look at it, animate it. Let's see. Now it's also animated. All right. Now we're done with the animation, but we're going to uh, uh, need the character to run across uh, the the whole uh, image. Right. Let's stop the animation, and then we will remove the background. Right. The 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 transparency is still there all right and then we're going to export uh, the animation so we're going to going to render right render the animation and then use all right if you can't cannot find the render animation maybe you can go here uh, and then render animation all right so we're gonna do that and then use PNG image, which is uh, adaptable to transparent uh, background, or it will not uh, render its background. So it will render just the image that we draw and then the entire canvas. Click OK. And then overwrite if you have an, uh, already re rendered. And then that's it. Now we're going to uh, export just the background, right? Uh, I control click the background so that it will only uh, preview the that layer, all right? So I'm going to export or save as, right? In uh, in JPEG or PNG if you want then save then overwrite if you have uh, written another image and click OK and then that's it now everything is already exported now we're going to Ktm Pro All right we are here in um, HitFilm Pro uh, or you can use another program or other programs uh, you have. Uh, you can use um, Adobe Premiere or After Effects or anything. So we're going to import uh, the file. Let's let's make um, let's import the file here. So we're going to import the image sequence. Not the media or other composite chat or anything, just the image sequence. All right, image sequence. Then go to the folder. All right, go to the folder. This is my animation fo folder that I rendered. Click that, double click, and then select folder. So the animation now is in the HitFilm Pro. Now we're going to import again. Now go to media, open. Now we have two uh, files that we need. Now we can create new composite. All right. New, go to new and then composite. And then we are going to use uh, 90, uh, 1920 by 1080 and then maybe we can reduce the uh, down to 10 maybe 10 that's all right then click OK then you will have this and then you need to um, drag all right the background first the image right as you can see here the image and then you're going to drag the animation 
on top of the uh, not here right on top all right all right there you go the image is on the top but the problem is uh, we have a very short uh, animation what we're gonna do is to, to duplicate the animation right or in other software you can use the looping all right so we're gonna duplicate it and then control D maybe a few times then select the first three then drag it there you go so after duplicating everything all right we are going to select um, everything except for the background all right except for the background and then we're going to right click right and then choose uh, make composite shot right or control M right let's right click and then choose then let's not rename it and then press OK and then if it will it will create the composite shot for the entire animation uh, now we're going back here to the uh, first composite shot that we made right now it's one whole uh, uh, one whole composite all right so what we're gonna do is uh, uh, make a uh, an animation like this uh, running across yeah all right so uh, we're going to collapse this and then transform here then use uh, position animation right let's go to the first keyframe right if we're not in the first keyframe then click this right and it will create a keyframe right we're not gonna change anything there all right so the first keyframe will be that's an instance okay uh, then we're going to drag all the way off the camera right and then let's go to the last keyframe or last uh, frame and then let's zoom out a bit then let's drag the character off the camera right so if you play the animation It runs across while animating. Hooray! We did it. But the problem is, we have a little uh, problem here. If we look at the animation here, the tree is blocking. All right. We have the problem with the tree. When you look at it there, oh no, the the animation is on top. Right that's not a problem okay so what we're gonna do is uh, lock uh, the animation and then select the background okay and then duplicate it control D let's let's make uh, another uh, file image and then let, let's lock the first background uh, drag the background on top of the animation right Okay, the animation is gone. All right, it's disappeared. We are going to create a mask for this one. We'll just uh, take the branch or this, the, the body of the tree, then let the animation go. Uh, let the animation pass. So in the uh, mask here, let's create a mask and then choose this one. This uh, in other program they also have this I'm sure so I'm going to let's create a mask behind the animation let's drag this right. Right. let's put down the transparency first 
transparency so we can see the the animation behind then let's create uh, a mask now we're going to create a mask uh, and then we'll use this tool to create it and then we'll create uh, a path around the tree There you go, and then we're going to turn up the opacity of the other back of uh, the background here. Turn it up. Then there you go. We have a mask of the uh, tree. Now we're gonna zoom in. Let's see what we did. If we animate this, if we try moving it. Alright, let's do this and see how we did. See? It's moving. Okay, let's zoom in so so that you can see well. Alright, use the hand tool. Alright, see? It's transparent. Alright, after we do some transparency here, we're going to export it all right let's try another one let's see how we did so we're going to uh, make it this is just extra all right we'll just uh, try to composite the entire image and then let's see uh, the image the first uh, this is the first composite all right we'll just composite another composite uh, make composite shot right and then the, we'll name this as final right final alright the final image like this one uh, will create a filter right let's find a filter here Right. There you go, the glow. Oh no, it's too much. Okay, uh, let's go here. Glow. Let's put up the glow. Now you can export right that's how we do it that's the animation and uh, i hope to see you next time cheers